fatalities is terrible. It's um, a horrible thing that happens. Um, and I, I wish it could be ended permanently. Kids deserve to feel safe um, at home, and at school, wherever they are. Child abuse is any action or interaction on, on the part of a parent or caregiver of a child 18 years and younger. Approximately five children die every day because of child abuse. Most children become victims of abuse and neglect at 18 months or younger. Um, you said what, what should happen to, to the abuser? Yes. Well, they obviously need help um, and need to be prevented from, from doing that again. Um, what that looks like, I think, is, is complicated and um, there are experts that know far more than I do about exactly how that should happen. Um, and then the kids need to be in, in a place that's safe. Um, if that means um, being, being removed from that home for a while, um, if that means like having, having some support from a parent to be able to um, do a better job parenting. Um, I think oftentimes child abuse stems from society's needs not being met, like people uh, struggling financially, people struggling um, with addictions and mental illness and things like that. And so I think if we take better care of our citizens, I think overall child abuse will lessen. But I think, yeah, it's, it's something that needs to be taken seriously and worked on. New Mexico said that 16.9 percent, 1,000 children in 2016, 16th highest in the nation and well above the national average of 8.9 percent. So, of course, I'm, I'm not... You know, I'm against child abuse. I think um, there's different ways to discipline your child um, instead of actually hitting them. Um, for an abuser, um, it just depends on what the abuse is. Like, there's a lot of different kinds of abuse. Sometimes parents can go and get help and learn how to discipline better, how to control anger, taking anger management classes, things like that. If a parent's able to do that and get better, you know, it would be great if they were able to do that and the child could be back with them. If they're not able to do that and the abuse is really bad, then they might need jail time. Um, it just kind of depends, I think, on the abuse. Uh, um, New Mexico tries to keep children with family members, um, but it just is whatever is best for the child. Sometimes a family member isn't always best. So, um, it just kind of depends on the situation, whether they should go into a foster home or with family members, but whatever is best situation for the kid, that's where they should go. Thank you. My experience with child abuse is mostly neglect, but also exposure to drugs and being overly sheltered. Yes, being overly sheltered is considered a form of abuse and being neglected, of course, is also a form of abuse. They still fed me and everything, but my dad is kind of like really ignorant. My mom was depressed and intoxicated herself with alcohol and cigarettes, not to an alarming degree with the alcohol, but enough to make her stop feeling the pain. I never knew like being exposed to like sexually explicit songs and games was wrong. I never knew like being stuck in my own corner all summer was wrong and kind of not healthy. <laughs> I never knew like eating processed food 24-7 was bad for you either. Well, I mean, I did, but I didn't really care. I thought like my parents did all of the right things and stuff like that. And an example of my dad kind of like neglecting my needs is when we got into a really bad car accident one day. And he still took me to school because it happened like right around the corner. Still took me to school even though I had a concussion. When my parents first got divorced, my dad would spam call me. He would do like, really questionable things when I was there. Blast sexually explicit music and he would... <laughs> I have no idea how to explain it. Just be not very appropriate and even with his driving he almost like ran me over and he kicked rocks upon me once he 
I was second-handedly smoking pot because he would smoke it in the house. He would smoke cigarettes in the car. He would drink. He would he would forcefully grab things out of me and my little brother's hand and destroy them sometimes. He has n- not considered me being sick and still taking me places, which I ended up throwing up at because he didn't consider that I was getting sick. Um... And all of this until February 23rd, which is um, the very, very, very last time I ever saw my dad. He, I witnessed him punch my mom. I witnessed him, like, breaking my mom's window. My brother getting punched in the face and being sat on almost. And my dad's like... 250 pounds, six foot five. Of course, sitting on my brother would probably put him into shock. So yeah, it's just really, really disturbing stuff. Luckily, he isn't around me anymore. Or my brother, or my mom. Just like, the the aftermath is kind of like what messes you up the most. My aftermath ended up being a lot of mental illnesses that burdened me, some of which are bipolar disorder with psychotic symptoms, depression, anxiety, autism, though it's not really trauma related, it just gave me more sensory issues. Um, It also gave me disassociation and um, sleep paralysis and kind of very rarely seizures with flashbacks so like what you could take away from this is don't don't ever like abuse your children don't if you're being abused like get help it's it's not right don't don't get abused get help please tell someone if they think you're faking it well they could screw off for all i care What is your opinion on child abuse? Um, I think child abuse is wrong. Um, And I think that anybody who is abusing children should be turned over to the police. Mm -hmm. What should the consequences be for the abuser? Well, I believe that the abuser should get therapy for starters um, and I think that they should get to the root of the problem that um, why people abuse children maybe they were abused when they were children get, give them therapy but also give them consequences such as um, jail time so I think it depends also on on what like how severe the level of child abuse was. Um, in some cases, they might need to be imprisoned. Um, in severe cases, maybe even a more serious pen- penalty. Um, and in kind of the less severe cases, um, maybe they're not imprisoned, but they have to do um, community service or something like that as well. Where should the child go if they are abused? Hmm. I think that um, if if they are at a um, decision-making age, maybe um, older elementary, um, middle school teenagers, um, they should they should ask the child's opinion of closest family members. Um, I think in some cases they should find um, people that are familiar with the children that are that have been abused and place them in their care. I think um, they could go to the police, they could go to another adult that they trust or a teacher that they trust or maybe 
um, like a Boy Scout or Girl Scout leader that they trust or a church member that they trust or an, an older family member like an aunt, an uncle, a grandma, a grandpa. Oh, you're saying like who they should talk to if they've been abused, is that what you mean? Um, or or where, they've, if where they they've live? If they do get abused, where should they go after that? Oh, I should just Where they should live So, afterwards. like, if, if the parents are taken away? Yes. Yeah. Um, oh. Hmm. Maybe, yeah, I would say maybe a, f a family member of the child's choice, you know, mm -hmm. provided that that family member is able and willing to care for that child. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. If you or anybody who you know is being abused, please call this number above.